All right. So I'm going to be loading up a Dodge Charger. We got three, four, three vehicles right here and one more vehicle down the street. He originally tried to put the Charger in number one, but then he realized that it was just too long. So he's going to go ahead and put this BMW 3 Series here on number one. Then he will put the Charger in number three. Now we have four vehicles from this recovery. However, there's one that's at their other location. This is just as bad as that one. Is it? That one's worse. We're at their second location. We came over here to get, go ahead and get the Accord. We have the charger sitting right over there. He's gonna go ahead and load the Accord. He's gonna back it up and put it in the second position. One inch. One inch is not bad. I don't need to be charged on this. So no, it doesn't. So I just brought that oh. out. Did you start it right now? Here. I started it twice. It started right up. The scratches are in the BMW. There's scratches all the way around. Now, a four vehicle tow truck just arrived. Of course, he has one up there, two on the bed, and then he can tow one in the back. driving they don't flap so much and of course at night time he puts a padlock and he always uses his wheel shocks for the rear wheel of the truck We just loaded the charger here in the third position, but this is going to be temporary because we have to go back to the original recovery location, pick up a Pathfinder. At that time, he's going to go ahead and move the charger forward, put it in number three, and then put the Pathfinder here. Now there's plenty of room here and because of course once the ramp goes up this this area here is going to get closer.
this is the loan, all four vehicles from the recovery. However, this one here was at their other location. The other three were here. The one in the very back has battery problems and it's also on empty. You gotta get close, close because that truck is too loud. So whenever you do this, you gotta make sure you don't hit, hit any uh, electrical wires. <laughs> so of course, it's gonna be under 14 feet, but he's just gonna go ahead and measure it. Just out of curiosity. Now what you do is you go to, you put it right next to the trailer. You go down until you fill the vehicle and then you go up just a bit. And he's at 13 feet. Okay. Yeah, Cause you don't want to, you don't want to measure from here. Yeah. Camera lady down there. You don't want to measure from here. You we got to the lowest point. And then you want to swing this around like this, right, left, until you actually touch the car. I'm touching it right there, right there. You hear that clank, clank, yes. clank? So, so you're right at, right at 13. Right at 13. I'm okay in California. This height stick comes with the carrying bag and it fits very well underneath your rear seat. Why should they measure their load? start out, you want to get to know your, your height. Because we got bridges that are 13, uh, 12, 7, 13, 4, Modesto. C County roads are not always going to be under 14. So you got to be careful with that. So here in Modesto, we were at, uh, what was the bridge, 12, 7? 207 so we had to make a u-turn so yeah. anyway guys just be careful uh, always if you don't know what you're delivering especially especially residential you're probably going to hit some lines so be careful now he's going to go around make sure everything's secure If you haven't already, please subscribe. And also hit that bell notification to be notified every time we have a new video.